Thanks, everybody, for coming. We're going to do something a little bit different tonight. First time we've done this. We've got a bunch of new tunes, but we've got kind of a set we're calling it twofers. We've got songs that are either by the same band together, you know, two, two tunes by Styx, uh, two tunes by uh, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, and then, or it's by genre. So we've got, like, we're starting with two Southern rock tunes, uh, which I like Southern rock, so we're excited we'll get to start with those. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. All right. Woo!
you're joining us on Facebook, Rumble, YouTube, or any of the other social media platforms we're on, welcome to the broadcast. We do this um, every couple of months. It's to support the work of the American Center for Law and Justice. So if you're new to this, welcome to our band. It's, we call it JSB. Use my name because of... Uh, Search engine, no, search engine optimization, but everybody in this band has either a J and S or some in their name somewhere. So it works out very well, including our newest member for the night. We're going to have a guest joining us. Uh, so we got a, a, uh, another member who's going to be playing with us during uh, some of the Doobie Brothers tunes. But I do want to say this. If you're watching, share it with your friends on whatever medium you're on right now. We encourage you to share this with your friends and support the work of the ACLJ. We're in a matching challenge month, which means any amount you donate this month, we get a matching gift. So I encourage you to go to aclj.org and support the work of the ACLJ and share this feed. Uh, even if you're watching it later, share the feed. It gets it up into everybody else's feed. We've got a great live audience here in our studio. All right. All right. I'm going to head back. <laughs> I'm the guy that gets the workout during these. That's right. We want to thank you guys so much for coming out and joining us this evening. We've got all kinds of fun songs to play. And uh, uh, as Jay mentioned, we're going to kind of, there's a little bit of a theme going on of uh, we're doing two songs consecutively by the same artist. It's funny, when I was growing up in Columbus, Ohio, uh, the, the rock radio station that everybody in my high school used to listen to, QFM 96, um, they did this thing called Two for Tuesday. Now, this isn't Tuesday, so, you know, we're going to just act like it is. Uh, but they call it a twofer, so we're going to do a twofer from uh, from Badfinger, which was uh, one of the first acts signed to the Beatles label back. That in was the an day. Apple band, one of the first. They had a huge uh, series of hits, and then um, one of the members still tours. Joey yeah, Mullen. Joey Mullen, right? Yeah, he still yeah. still tours around. So you'll know these tunes. They've been in they're popular music, but they've also been in movies and commercials. And you know when you're getting old, Mark, when everything's a commercial. <laughs> The music is in a commercial. Here we go. And everything hurts. Well, this tune is only about 52 years old. Well, that means Well, that John can relate to that. John had an injury. He's okay now. <laughs> he's, he's patched together. It was a bizarre gardening accident or something. No, it wasn't gardening. <laughs> all right. Let's play some music. Okay. This is called Day After Day. You guys all right? I remember lining out about you Every day my mind is all around you Looking out of my lonely room Day after day
Thank you. Let me say again, if you're just joining us, uh, share this with your friends. Support the work of the ACLJ at aclj.org. The next tune we're going to do is No Matter What. But we're only going to do No Matter What when it's We're In Tune. Are we in tune? We're in tune. We're in tune. So no matter what, we're in tune. time you know we actually have a, like we said a special guest Sarah here very special very special this is Sarah Gary everybody yes. an amazing violinist that uh, this next song needs it's uh, one of the Doobie Brothers songs we, we weren't sure what black water meant right and so we finally realized it's Mississippi River right. yeah but uh, it's one of the classics from uh, the band, and we needed her to make it real. So, praise God. That's right, you can't do black water without a violin, you know? Yeah. Fiddle actually is the appropriate term in this case. Sing along when it gets I asked little Sarah little yesterday if it was a fiddle, she said it's a violin. Yeah. I'm going with violin. Yeah. <laughs> All right, chimes. She's a real musician. There you go. Okay, cameras <laughs> on the chimes. Yeah, Remember, that's how it started. All right, here we go. Would I build me a raft and she's ready for flood? Oh, Mississippi, she's calling my name. That fish jumping, that paddle with a bit. That water keeps rolling on my shoes the same. Oh, black water 
keep on rolling. Mississippi boys keep on shining. Old oh, black water keep on rolling. Mississippi boys keep on shining. Old oh, black water keep on rolling. Mississippi boys keep on shining on me. Yeah, keep on shining your light. Gonna make everything, everything gonna make everything alright. And I ain't got no worries Cause I ain't in no hurry And I'm Well, if it rains, I don't care Don't make no difference to me Just let that street it's going downtown Yeah I'd like to hear some funky Dixieland and dance A honky talk And I'll be buying everybody drinks All around Yeah Old black water Keep on rolling Mississippi boys keep on shining on me Old black water Keep on rolling Mississippi boys keep on shining on me Old black water Sarah Gary on violin, ladies and gentlemen. Very good. So you ever heard a song the, called Listen to the Music? Yeah, the Doobie Brothers did this with double drums, and we're going to do the same. Chris and I have, are locked and ready to go. Yes, indeed. So this is uh, song two from Listen to the Music from the Doobie Brothers. Support the work of the ACLJ. Share this with your friends. It's the most important thing you can do for us right now. Listen to the music. We ready? Yeah, we're, good. we're good.
lazy flowing river Surrounding castles in the sky And the crowd is growing bigger Listen for the happiness of Dr. Debbie Fly Oh, oh, listen to the music All right, so we had a very cool thing happen to this band. So I'm somewhere, and I get a text from my son, Logan. He says, you're not going to believe this. The band Sticks, the band Sticks, has posted your version of fooling yourself on their website, on their Facebook page and Twitter. I mean, tens of thousands of people have seen it. And it was awesome. And we told them we were big fans, and uh, so... We're not. We're going to do "Fooling Yourself," but first we're going to do another one of their tunes, which we've not posted. They have not posted yet, but maybe this will do it. Called "Grand Illusion," and again, if you're just watching, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate it. Now we're doing two tunes from Sticks. This is a Sticks twofer. Sticks twofer.
Famous by Sticks, they re like I said, they posted us, which we really appreciate. It's gonna feature John Lowry on the keyboards, fooling yourself. A classic. You want to hear it? All right.
But you know, also, Mark Townsend, Mark O'Gwen. I mean, these musicians are making Jay Sickler, come on. And Scott's not bad either. It's uh, really a privilege. Listen, again, this is for the audience, uh, not only you, but out there listening. We are really privileged to be able to do this for you all with the idea that ACLJ is uh, trying to do a double hit. Come on. With every dollar that's sent tonight, it's a double. It's two dollars. Ten dollars is twenty. Twenty dollars forty, and so on. So this is one of those rare occasions that we in the band get to do this for this amazing organization that we know and love. We get to watch what they do, and uh, it's very exciting just to be part of that. But uh, Jay, I'm sorry. I, I, no, I, you, you I, do I great. Talking. He's doing a great job. Have you enjoyed yourself so far tonight? All right, we're going to do, as we said, the two for night. So we're going to do two Emerson, Lincoln, Palmer tunes. One of them is one of my all-time favorites it's called Lucky Man, which if you've listened to the lyrics, he was not so lucky in the end. But it was uh, supposed to be kind of a middle. The, the truth about the, the tune is it was an add-on to their album. They were three minutes short, and they said, the producer said, we got to have another song. And I think it was, um, I think it was Greg Lake, Greg Lake yeah. said, I've got this one tune I wrote when I was 13. It's three minutes. It's called Lucky Man. It's kind of a medieval thing, he said. And sure enough, it became their biggest hit of all time. So we're going to do that one for you tonight. All right, you guys right? John's still playing with his water. He's injured, so we have to give him a little break. Ready, Marco? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Had white horses and ladies by the score, all dressed in satin and waiting by the door. Ooh, what a lucky man he was! Ooh, what a lucky man he was white lace and feathers they made up his bed a gold covered mattress on which he was laid ooh what a lucky man
night wars For his country and his king Of his honor and his glory The people would sing To the band. Like Jay said, we'd like to do another Emerson Lake of Palmer tune. Here we go. We like our nerdy uh, prog rock stuff. That's pretty fun, John. I like all We're your buzzes and beeps and stuff, man. Yeah. <laughs> John actually is a musical genius. Um, he won't say it, but we we know it. Being around him, he's uh, he's amazing. Good we job, John. Love having. Him. Let's call from the beginning here. Whatever was done is done I 
just can't recall Doesn't matter at all You see it's all clear You were meant to be here From the beginning get to the next uh, two tunes, one of which, written by Mr. John Elefante, Kansas tune. Uh, let me encourage you, if you're watching on any of our social media platforms, uh, Rumble, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, I'm leaving things out, but whatever you're watching on, share this with your friends. And why we're here tonight is, a couple times a year, we do these matching challenge campaigns for the ACLJ. This is a big part of our budget. And if you've been listening at all to our broadcasts or watching us, we have a lot going on, a lot of cases going on right now. Everything from a bunch of student cases, a lot of pro-life cases. We had a very good term at the Supreme Court of the United States, I might add. Uh, pretty awesome, yeah. Uh, we were involved in all those cases, and uh, there are four major wins. And uh, all I can say is it was just, a, you know, conservative justices, you get a good result. And uh, we did. The left is going crazy on it. They want to impeach Supreme Court justices and pack the court which, by the way, FDR tried. It didn't work out so well. So I, I don't think that's going to work. But you got to be vigilant. And, you know, the next tune, I think, sums it up. But before I get to the next tune, if you want to support the work of the ACLJ, go to aclj.org. There's a link right there on the wherever you're watching. And uh, donate. And any amount you donate, of course, tax deductible. But we get a matching gift. So if you donate, uh, as John said, $10, we get 20 If you donate $50, uh, we get uh, 100 Somebody last time donated a lot of money uh, watching the broadcast. And, I mean, it was significant, and we appreciate that. But let me tell you something. This is an organization that is very grassroots. It is uh, a lot of people all over the country supporting the work of the ACLJ, which we appreciate. Now, John, I said I was going to ask you about this tune. It was Kansas tune. It charted high up there. Was it number, like, three? In top five. Top five. It's called Fight Fire with Fire, and what's it about? Well, let me, let, me, let me turn it around this way. Can I dedicate this song to somebody? You can. Do we all think the ACLJ is fighting fire with fire? Yeah. There you go. So I dedicate this song to the all ACLJ. Right. We will take yeah. that dedication. All right. This is a great tune. All right, let's enjoy it. Here we go.
Boy, it's really great to sing next to a star. Why, thanks, John. Let's talk about Jay. There you go. <laughs> well, we're doing a Kansas twofer, although this is really more of a John Elefante twofer, but... Uh, well, it's Kansas. But it is Kansas, and uh, what an amazing song. Did Kerry write this next one? It was a guitar exercise that he'd been working on for years and years. Okay. And to loosen needed, up his just, fingers? Just like the uh, ELP song, they needed a tenth song for the record. Wow. <laughs> so somebody said, hey, what about that little thing you mess around with before you go in the studio? And it became Dust in the Wind. That's Remarkable. pretty awesome. And did he write the lyric, or was that, was that one of the other guys? Do you know? I think he wrote it all. I didn't want to age, John, but I did tell him yesterday. I said, my sister's confirmation, the song they sang at the temple in Atlanta, Georgia, was Dust in the Wind. It wasn't that long ago. A few years. Now, now how old is she now? Sixty. Sixty. <laughs> You know, I've been asked to sing it at a funeral. I just can't do that. <laughs> That'd be tough. Seriously. Okay. I don't want to that part. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think you should probably get somebody else. Yeah, there you go. So anyways, the idea here is uh, that we're doing this two for set. And then, uh, so we got the John's two right then. And we're going to do a couple of originals and then some new ones. We're having a great time. I hope you are too. And I hope you all are at home as well. John Alfonte, uh, John Schlitz said we could wear short sleeve shirts today, so we did. Well, most of us We did. got the memo. A couple yeah. did not, but we did. We got the memo. All right, let's do Dust in the Wind. Okay, guys, right? That goes my eyes Only for a moment And the moment's gone All my dreams That's before my eyes A curiosity Dust in the wind All they are is dust Oh, no. 
Thank you, guys. John Elefante, everybody. I got to do a live audience check here. How many of you have been here before? How many of you first time? Oh, a lot. Well, great. So then I can tell my guitar story. And as many of you are watching, of course, on Facebook, YouTube, uh, Rumble. So there's a story about this guitar. Normally, this is a Gibson guitar. It's gray, as you can tell. It was a point of litigation between the federal government and Gibson Guitar. I think it was the Department of Interior went into Gibson in Nashville, Tennessee, and with guns a blaze, I mean, you know, weapons pulled, SWAT teams, to get the wood that was on the fretboard of the guitar, which they thought was an endangered wood species from uh, South America. And they took, they, I mean, they rounded up the employees, they took the guitars, they, it was litigated, and of course, the wood wasn't from the endangered species. And Gibson got the guitars, the wood back. And they made it into what they call the government series. <laughs> so it's government gray. The case, I did not bring it out, I should have. It's government green. I mean, if you're my age, you remember government buildings were like gray and green. I mean, that was kind of the colors. So this is called the Government Series. We wrote a song about the guitar. And the tune's called Undemocratic. And it's not about a political party. It's about kind of government agencies out of control. And you know, this song is probably how old now? Ten years old? We're coming close to it. Yeah. Close to it. Ten years old, just about. And you know, you could replace the agency, but they use the three initials, and it's the same thing. And that's kind of the way it's been for a long time. And it's really pronounced right now. So this tune, we will dedicate it, though, to the greatest country in the world. Because despite all of this, there's nowhere else I'd rather live than the United States of America. Right. The best. I have litigated cases all over the world at the highest courts. The Supreme Court of the United States, of course. European Court of Human Rights. The International Criminal Court in The Hague. I will take the United States Supreme Court any day and live in this country with the blessings of liberty that we have, which are unbelievably great. We just celebrated the July 4th independence. And like I said, despite the you know, politics and all of that, it, it, we've got a lot to celebrate here. We live in a free country. That's right. And we are blessed to live in America. So this tune is undemocratic. It's dedicated really to keeping America strong. And it's a bit of a rocker, I would say. A bit. A bit. Very all right. much so. Yeah. Take it, Chris. Here we go.
Jay was mentioning that's an original uh, original tune, and, and it, it was funny. Like, gosh, I, we're coming up, I think, on ten years for this band that we've been doing this. This band. This particular, yeah, this particular thing on the, on stage now, and it, it just started with Jay and Scott and Marco in their radio room back in the day. Tiny little room. And, then, and in those days, we would go. We'd start playing about eight o'clock and go to two o'clock in the morning. We don't do that anymore. We're doing that tonight, right? Yeah. Except yeah, much yeah, earlier. Right. right. <laughs> and then John called me and he said, I think the first thing he said was, uh, are, you, uh, are you a conservative? I did. Say, I did. I said, <laughs> yeah, yeah, John. I, I said, John, I've known you 25 years. Well, you yeah, were... but we never talked politics. Oh, yes, we did. Oh, well. <laughs> I... Memories. <laughs> <laughs> so then I said, you know, Man, Jay Sekulow. Maurice. Oh, yeah, I, I, I love Jay Sekulow. I said, well, mind. we got this band that... Uh, because by that time, Jay had asked me to yes. sing. Because John had uh, sung the uh, what did national you anthem. The national anthem at uh, uh, my son Logan's minor league basketball team. Yeah. And I was a huge Head East fan, gigantic. I have more copies of Flat of the Pancake than anybody in the United States. Also a big fan of Petra. So I was very glad to meet John. And then John met John. And here we are. <laughs> Woo! So this tune, this was... Uh, this you was were in a, England at the yeah, time, we right? Yeah, we did a program for about four years at the University of Oxford, and it was uh, we did a lot. We do a lot of work. We have an office in Jerusalem, so uh, we do a lot of work uh, in the Middle East. We've handled some very complex issues, uh, everything from politics to military to religious groups. And when you're in the Middle East, you've got to think nine dimensions. It's nine dimensional chess. We had to negotiate a, an arrangement between the Israelis, the Jordanians, and the Palestinian Authority uh, for the recognition of the Greek Orthodox Patriarch of Jerusalem, Theophilus. And you, you, know, you think about that and you say, well, what does the government have to do with it? They will pull out of their museums. Well, we have this decree from the Ottoman Empire. Seriously. And in the decree it says there will not be this recognition unless the parties that are in control of the areas agree. So you've got to, we did that, we were in Jerusalem for two weeks on that particular case, getting that resolved, which we did, by going to the Prime Minister's house at night on Shabbos, on, on a Friday night. He came to the door in a pair of khakis and a black t-shirt. It was a... Uh, short sleeve? Uh, it was short sleeve. There you go. Ehud Omer, and, um, and we got it worked out. And it was, it was complex. And then I had a series of cases... <laughs> Uh, about three years ago, some of which you may vaguely remember. And I had, before I had to deal with presidential issues, the month before I had to do an impeachment hearing and three cases at the U.S. Supreme Court, I was in The Hague at the International Criminal Court representing interests of the United States and Israel as it relates to military operations in these disputed areas. So our office in Jerusalem handles really complex stuff. And your support of the ACLJ supports our work, not just here in the United States, but literally around the globe. And we appreciate that support, and we could not do it without you. So if you're watching tonight, there's a, there's a link right on the screen where you're watching. Hit that link. Any amount you donate, of course, is tax deductible, but we get a matching gift. So for us, it's a very big part of our budget, and it literally supports our work here in the United States. We've got offices throughout the United States. We have offices around the globe. And it supports that work in Jerusalem. This tune came out of, we were doing a program at the University of Oxford on a variety of issues. I ended up writing three books. I wrote The Rise of ISIS. I wrote Unholy Alliance, which was about Russia, Syria, and Iran. That came to be mm -hmm. prophetic. And then the last book I did was Jerusalem. And it was about the biblical case and the legal case for the Jewish state of Israel. And we were at Oxford for about three summers where we were able to go to the Bodleian Library and do this work. And I was studying Benjamin Disraeli, and I was studying some of the speeches given by uh, Yitzhak uh, Rabin, one of the prime ministers of Israel. And we came back to the United States, and I said, well, if we're going to do a tune about the Middle East, the only hope for the Middle East is in the Lord. Because without that, there's no peace in the Middle East, which we know scripturally, but we just know generally. You could, you're living history right now. And, but there is hope. And this is the tune we wrote called Hope of Jerusalem. Yes. Oh 
spaces Remembering those who have passed through before Send out the primrose, my symbol of courage My sentiment hungers to understand more Friends bond together in deep conversation Passions and concerns of this holy land Out of the faces grow sad with conflict Bringing their thoughts to the questions I ask Without understanding we can't have agreement between us No, it's all about chapter, sharing the blame for the sins of the past, having the vision to change our condition, out from the shadows our journeys have cast, think of the time when our children's children will never be touched by the singing of the grave, there is no comfort in acting with courage, but nothing is too difficult for the prey Although we come from an anguish and grieving land The prayer of our heart is the peace that can only come from God's hand And only God knows when the God from the storm Listen to Sean Hannity's radio broadcast. How many of you do? A lot of you do. We, Jordan and I and Logan hosted the program today. But if you like that bumper music you hear on his show, do you know where that comes from? Two places, I should say, to be clear. Our good friend John Rich from Big and Rich and JSB, our band. He does, uh, Big and Rich do the opening tune, We're Coming to Your City, and then all of the bumper music for the rest of the hour 
are our tunes. So we got a request from Linda McLaughlin, who's Sean's producer. And there was a Credence Clearwater revival tune, which I, I love CCR, uh, called Fortunate Son. Oh, yeah, everybody. Yeah, great tune. So she called Mark and said, I need you to record Fortunate Son. And Mark said, well, when do you need it by? And she said, literally tomorrow. So we went True. in and cut it. Probably only about, what, three takes? Oh, Maybe. it's bad, yeah. Yeah. It's an awesome tune. We have a blast with it. We're going to do it for you. I'm going to mosey on back to the kit. John Schlitt's going to sing this one. No, I'm going to scream this one. Because, because you can. <laughs> when we put this together, John Delafonte calls me up. He goes, because, man, I don't sing like that. <laughs> he was a smart one. So, uh, so John Schlick gets to shred his, uh, his vocal cords on this one. So, Man, cool. this is such a great lyric. I, I know it's so simple, but man, is it just spot on, 100%. So. Yeah, well, it certainly reminds me back uh, with the Vietnam War and all that. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, but it's very appropriate for now. Absolutely. You good to go, Jay? I am ready to rock. All right, here we go. Hey, John Shred. <laughs> hey, let's do it again. Thank you, guys. You, you're very kind and, and understanding. I appreciate that. Thank you. Now I get to rip my part. That's all right. Hey, this, Jay. This is, a gr this is a great classic Paul McCartney tune. And I'm trying to figure, we're doing it. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to tie these as two for. Uh, written about the same year. Same year, yeah, 1969, same year. 1970. Uh, the tune from McCartney is Maybe I'm Amazed. Uh, it is a great tune. Keyboards are awesome. Drums are pretty good, too, I have to say. We've got double keyboards going here. It's, 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 it's a great tune. And the Johns do a great job, as does the rest of the band. Here we go. Maybe I'm afraid of the way I love you Maybe I'm amazed in the way you pull me out of time 
Good job, Johns. All of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Now, we, we already did a John Elefante slash Kansas twofer. Now, it's time to do the John Schlitt slash Petra twofer. <laughs> Actually, had East two, yeah. Actually, the two classics in my life. I, uh, from two different bands, a classic song from one band, a classic song from another, which is actually very rare, guys. I'm very honored to have been that part. It's been, it's been very cool. And for this band to play them, it's really just an honor, too. It's just a lot but cool. But this first song is from my Christian band, Petra. And it's synonymous for Petra. It's the, now, John says it's not the biggest song we ever had, but I thought, I thought it was. But, it is uh, tonight. It is tonight. <laughs> song called Beyond Belief, and really what it says is, once you're a Christian, is that good enough? Just sit back and wait around and say, okay, I'm saved, that's cool. Or do you find out what's beyond belief? Do you find out what God's got for you after you've brought Jesus into your heart? It's a very cool tune. Yeah. John Elefante produced this, didn't you? So you got three. You got, Elefante produced it. Slit sang it. Larry, also Petra, keyboards. So you got a kind of a Petra... Grouping here. Petra grouping. I like yeah, Petra yeah. grouping.
dead, guys. Not dead. Okay, Jay actually tells better stories about this, so. Hey, can I say something about ACLJ? Uh, hey, guys, it is uh, here tonight. We are to help raise money for the support of ACLJ. And I get to see a lot of what Jay isn't talking about. Uh, there's John's lot, on our board, so he knows. There's a lot of, of uh, things that go on that are little, little people. I mean, he was talking about the bigger things. Little people. But not It's What's cool about ACLJ is they function on the the religious persecution religious of the world and man i was looking for something like that for a long time when i found jay and aclj it was like oh man i'm i'm going with that because this world is a battle zone right now it absolutely is a battle zone and we finally have some good guys that have power know what they're doing and aclj is that so when we ask you for money we're not asking for anything except the fact that we need support for the little guy all over the world. All over the world. We take for granted the fact that the religious side of the religious persecution goes on every day, everywhere. And we have a, 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 an organization, a ministry, that's going in to say, hey, we don't care how small you are, we don't care how big you are, we are here for you. If you are getting wronged, we want to help you. That's Jay, how many years have you been doing this? Uh, Forty. Remarkable. Yeah. yeah. So I was going to say something about what John was talking about. You know, you hear the big cases, you hear the Supreme Court cases. But let me give you an example of a case in Utah, uh, actually in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Yep. Uh, a 15 year old girl in a uh, acting class, uh, each kid was required to draft a mon write a monologue for a play, and then you put it in a hat and you pick it out, and whoever's you get, you perform. So this 15 year old young lady picks out the monologue she gets the script and it is obscene and profane horrible i will not repeat the words that were in it on this broadcast but i will tell you this she said i'm not going to do it and she got in a lot of trouble at school and then her mother went to the school board hearing and got up during the public comment section which i've always said because you, you hear about the big cases but let me tell you we do Dozens and dozens of these. We had 179 requests for help last week. Mm -hmm. This mother goes to the school board meeting, and all she says is, I'd like to read you something to the school board. She gets up, and she starts reading the monologue. She is shut down immediately, said, ma'am, no obscenity, no profanity here. And she said, my 15-year-old was required to read this and perform this in school, which she didn't do when she got uh, a lower grade because of it. We are in federal court. Now, you're not, that's not making national news. But those people did not have the capa uh, capability to hire lawyers that also represented a president of the United States. But because of the support of people that are watching this broadcast right now or here, your support of the ACLJ lets us send lawyers to Las Vegas, Nevada to handle that case. And that's just one of dozens I could talk about. So I appreciate your support of the ACLJ, John. Thanks for those words. ACLJ.org, there's a link on the platforms you're watching. Just click it right now. I need to say something about never been any reason. Does anybody remember Orange Julius? Yeah. yeah. I liked Orange Julius. He had a little slice of pizza and a little orange drink. Over the Muzak, or whatever they were playing in those days, I hear this tune. I said, boy, that is a great tune. So there was a record, Turtles Records in North Lake Mall in Atlanta, Georgia. I go up the steps. Orange Julius was on the main floor, the first floor, and then the record store was upstairs. I went upstairs, and I went to the guy behind the record counter. I said, there's this tune I just heard. It's great. It's got this kind of really cool moog start, and it, uh, it goes, and I kind of hummed it for him, and he goes, never been any reason. We got it. Great band. You need to get the, it's the and the album was called Flat as a Pancake, of which I literally have 20 copies of it. <laughs> and the tune was never been any reason, and it is a... Boy, it is a rock. If you listen to the classic rock station about every 90 minutes, there it is, John. There you are. Uh, his band was Head East, and they just celebrated about two years ago their 50th anniversary tour. John was on a portion of that, which was great. So we're going we're gonna to rock out with Never Been Any Reason. Is that a pretty good way to kind of bring the evening yeah. to a close? Yeah. All right, let's kick this. Here we go.
Good night, folks. <laughs>